I'll be showing four new features in the Microsoft 365 Copilot for OneDrive. These updates are great time savers for those of you working with files. So let's get started. I'm here in OneDrive and I'm gonna show all the new features of Copilot. Now, as a note, you need to be a subscriber to the M365 Copilot offering to get all these Copilot features. I'm gonna select my Contoso electronic sales proposal right here and I'll click to select. And there's a few places that Copilot shows up. The easiest spot is right here, there's a now Copilot dropdown. And I'll click this and there are some features. Now if I go down here, you're also gonna see a little Copilot button right here. I can also click to get those same features. I can click the three dot menu and it shows up right here as well, Copilot flyout. Or if I right click on a file right here, I can get that same context menu and see the Copilot flyout with the different options. So first we're gonna go and select Contoso Electronic Sales Proposal. Now this is a really long document. Here's this Contoso electronic sales proposal. And maybe I don't wanna read this entire thing to start out. So I'm gonna say Copilot summarize. We'll click this. And really quickly, it's gonna start summarizing this long 25 page Contoso document. Great, here's a nice little summary. It bolds the name of their proposal. The proposal emphasizes four key points. It differentiates Contoso right here. It has some other details and you can see it cites where it's pulling this from. And it actually, when I hover, I see a little citation. Also references right here. I can click and see that electronic sales proposal and I can see who authored it and when. And what's also nice is I can copy this entire set of text right here and I can go paste it into an email or wherever else I want. Now the second new feature is you can ask a question right here from your document. Now the other option is I can just close this and say Copilot ask a question. And in this case, I'm gonna ask a question about my Contoso sales proposal. Ask a question. It pops open the Copilot chat pane and I can ask it to do a fact, suggest next steps. I'm gonna ask a question right here about the top four points. What are the top four points of this document? And hit submit. And Copilot's gonna go and analyze this really quickly. Great, here it is. Customer focused approach, partnership around mutual benefit, align priorities and goals, and simplified partnership process. And again, it cites wherever it's pulling that from. Now I can say, tell me more about Contoso's customer focused approach. There's a couple suggestions automatically. So let's see, tell me more about their customer focused approach. Okay, it gives me a nice answer here, detailing right from that document. And again, I can copy this and paste it elsewhere and I can ask more questions below if I want. And I'll close this. This also works with other types of documents. I just did this in a Word document, but if I scroll down and I select a PowerPoint right here, Microsoft's Inclusive Classroom, let's try to do some Copilot features with this. I'll select Inclusive Classroom PowerPoint. In this case, I'm gonna click the little Copilot icon and I'm gonna say create an FAQ out of this document. That's feature number three is create an FAQ. So click create an FAQ, frequently asked questions, and it's going to do that really quickly. Great, here is a nice frequently asked questions. What's the goal of the Inclusive Classroom Initiative? How does Microsoft support inclusive education? What are some of the accessible technologies? And so on. So a lot of great FAQ answers just in a few seconds. And just like before, I can ask further questions. I can copy right from the text and we will close this. You can do the same thing with PDF files as well or Excel files. The fourth new feature is the ability to compare different files. You might have a few files that are kind of similar, like different statements of work, and you want to compare the little differences between those files. So for the fourth feature, I'm going to go into statements of work, and I've got some different SOWs that I want to compare. So I'll select these three Word documents. I'll drop down the Copilot button, and there's an option compare files. Compare files only shows up if you've selected multiple files. So let's click this. Okay, it's got three files selected and it's gonna compare those. Building a table. Okay, looks like the titles are different. The dates are different right here. Effective date, expiration date, primary contacts are the same. Bill Lumberg working with Inatech and some of the deliverables. Oh, this is four, this is four, that's eight. A billion dollars, wow, that's a big payment, whoo. And then some of the other comparisons right here. So very quickly, it compared those different files and I don't have to open it up and comb through each little piece of data. This is a great time saver. And just like in all the other examples, it has the ability to copy or if you wanna ask further questions, you can do this, pop it open. It pops the table right into the Copilot chat pane and now I can ask more questions about these files if I want to. 
These four features in OneDrive Copilot are just the start. You should expect many more capabilities rolling out in the coming months. Stay tuned. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.